Now, to be honest, just as of recently, more than ever before, my seven-figure dividend portfolio is once again growing at a faster pace than it ever has since I started investing, and this is around seven or eight years ago now. Now, this is due to multiple different things, but partially because I've been buying more dividend stocks and ETFs than ever before because my total monthly dividend income is also higher than ever before, giving me more cash balance to work with on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Now, along with that, different positions in the portfolio are also raising their dividends intrinsically, which is once again just giving my portfolio more total monthly income and to be real the snowball effect the compounded effect is coming together right in front of my eyes but in this video i want to go through a portfolio overview share with you guys every single stock and etf that i'm currently holding across my multiple portfolios and also give you guys some insight on things like what i've been buying more of or less of as of recently so if you want to see behind the scenes of a seven figure portfolio that earns more than seventy five hundred dollars per month in dividends as of right now make sure to stick around drop a like down below and let's get right into it real quick for those that haven't already make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where i share exactly how i went from zero dollars invested to now earning over six thousand dollars on a monthly basis and over one million dollars invested in the market along with the ebook you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investment Investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. Now, a lot of you guys watching this video have probably seen my videos before, but if you guys are new here, well, welcome. This right here is my seven figure portfolio, which I've been building now for around seven or eight years. I started this portfolio with a single few shares of Capital One stock and realty income back years and years ago. And over the years, by deploying a lot of my savings and working very hard, reinvesting all the dividends over the years, the portfolio has now grown sort of out of control to the point to where it's worth between one and two million dollars and pays me, as you see here, north of ninety thousand dollars estimated at least per year. Dividends. Now, I'm currently 32 years old, and I'm not necessarily looking to use this portfolio to retire off of today or tomorrow, but I do want to use this portfolio to hopefully pay my bills, to help family and friends, and to take vacations sometime within the next two, four, six, eight years. Now, my strategy or my objective for my portfolio is to buy into either low yielding dividend paying ETFs and or stocks that offer dividend growth or high yielding dividend paying stocks or ETFs that offer a lot of yield from the start, but maybe don't offer as much growth later on. And even though I do want my portfolio to go up over time as far as balance, it's not necessarily super important to me whether the portfolio is worth 1.2 million, 1.4 million, 1.6 million dollars. What I'm very focused on is my total monthly and total yearly dividends because once again, I specifically am looking to use this money to pay my bills sometime in the future. Now to get into all the positions as of right now, again, if you guys have seen my videos before, you're probably going to be able to reference some of my old positions versus some of the new ones and see how many shares I have, etc. But as of right now, I'm currently holding on to first off my 1,763 shares of ticker symbol BDJ, the BlackRock Enhanced Dividend Equity Trust. I did add a few more shares of BDJ as of recently, but this position is pretty much maxed out at this point and I probably won't add too much more from here. Next, I still have my 1,499 shares of ticker symbol DIVO or Debo, the Amplify CWP Enhanced Dividend Income ETF, one of my favorite cover call style ETFs and an ETF that I definitely think you should look into if you like growth and income at the same exact time. I still have my 1,262 shares of Verizon stock, which have been doing a little bit better as of recently. I also got paid my Verizon dividend as of recently, which was massive. I still have my 1,001 shares of Apple stock, of course, nothing new there. My 2,734 shares of QLD. We do have 2,711 shares of Realty Income, ticker symbol below. And I did as of recently share with you guys that Realty Income, although it's still a great read in my opinion, and still a stock that I'm bullish on long term, I am not going to be buying more real income from here. And this position is pretty much maxed out at this point. I then have my 1,218 shares of Jeppy. I have my 749 shares of EPD. We have our 700 shares of BST. We have our 529 shares of JEPQ. Now, JEPQ is a long term holding of mine. I've been buying JEPQ basically ever since it came out. And as of recently, I decided to start buying some more shares of JEPQ. This is more or less a new addition to the portfolio. I'm up to 529 shares. And hopefully, I'll probably get up to somewhere around 550 or even 600 shares before the end of the year. JEPQ is one of my favorite income focused ETFs and simply because I do want more exposure to the NASDAQ but also want to do so in an income focused way. JEPQ is as of right now in my daily buy list and you'll probably see me grab a lot more JEPQ over the next several weeks. Next up, we're up to 35 shares of ZIBB. We still have our 246 shares of NUC. We have our 194 of XYLD. We now have 2,215 shares of SEHD. Now, the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF is one of my main positions I've been trying to build out all this year. And again, if you guys have watched my videos before, you know this is definitely the case. And even though at times I've been buying SEHD a little bit slower or faster, moving forward until the end of the year, I do think I want to pick up the pace a little bit and really start buying a lot more SEHD, not only because this ETF has an ex-dividend date coming up, but also 
also just because I do think this ETF is going to help propel my portfolio to new total monthly and total yearly dividend heights later on in the future. And this is because of the massive dividend growth rate. So SCHD is going to remain front and center as far as my daily buys for a while now. I have 311 shares of Altry Group. I then have 262 shares of Triple N REIT. We still have our 100 shares of JP Morgan, our 293 of Vici, our 59 of Kinder Morgan, our 283 of Matry Capital. This is another one that I have been adding a little bit more as of recently. Still buying in very small amounts because it's pretty expensive, but Matry Capital is another position I'm trying to build out aggressively at this point. Then to finish up the portfolio, at least as it sits right now, we have our 351 shares of WB Carry, our 47 shares of PNW. We still have our 255 shares of TSLY. We have our 24 shares of UPS, our 20 of PBA. We have our 18 ABR, our 16 EXR. We have our 17 shares of Simon Property Group. We have almost 700 shares of SVAL, which I was buying a lot of throughout this year, but I slowed down as of recently. This is just because this position is pretty maxed out at this point, and I don't necessarily know if I want any more exposure to what SVAL offers. We then have our nine shares of stag our eight shares of t row our 19 shares of kmb we have almost 3200 of vnq 200 of ko ticker to symbol psa we have 700 spyi another position that i've been building on a lot over this last year almost 850 shares we have 19 shares of fb we have two shares of dgrw we have four shares of fdvv we have 12 shares of vig which i haven't actually been buying more of as of recently i do need to grab some more vig this etf is always just seeming so expensive though we also have our 267 shares of the Defiance S&P 500 Target Income ETF, which is SPYT. One of my favorite newer income focus ETFs has done very well so far, so we'll see, but almost 300 shares of that one. We then lastly have our 24 shares of Pepsi. We have our 41 shares of AT&T. We have our single share of DIVB. We have our 151 shares of QQQI, the NEOS NASDAQ, 100 high income ETF, another one that I've been buying a lot more as of recently, and intend to keep buying more. We then lastly have four shares of AIPI, another Rex ETF, and then we lastly, as a recent, added two shares of QQA, the Invesco QQQ Income Advantage ETF. So I know that's a lot to go through, but that as of right now is my 40 something positions throughout my portfolios. Again, these numbers are all to be estimated. And just because the portfolio says it's earning me around $7,500 per month does not necessarily mean that that's exactly what I'm going to get because there's lots of different positions in here that don't even pay every single month. And on top of that, there's always different dividend increases or changes in distribution amounts, etc. But as of right now, I'm very happy where the portfolio sits. Even though this portfolio still has a long way to go to become the perfect portfolio in my eyes, I do think it's heading towards the right direction, offering a small amount of growth potential, a ton of income potential, and some dividend growth within there. Now, like I said earlier, moving forward until the end of this year specifically, I'm going to keep buying a lot more SCHD and then mixing in different cover call style ETFs on top of that with the few odd and end shares of Main Street Capital, etc. But for the most part, because this portfolio as of right now is already earning enough to sustain all my expenses if I were to want it to, not even including future dividend increases, which I am hoping are going to come here very soon, the portfolio is more or less right where I want it. And that's why moving forward, I'm going to take a lot of the total monthly dividend income and buy a ton of stable foundational investments like SCHD via VIG or others. So now that we went through my entire portfolio, I share with you guys sort of my strategy and what stocks and or ETFs are currently in my holdings as of right now. I lastly want to hear from you down below. As of right now in your specific portfolio, what is a few of the main positions you've been adding as of recent? Drop the ticker symbols in my comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.